Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is MLB 17 the show and this is the Kansas City Royals franchise. This is the Royal Court Insider and today we are taking a quick look here at one of our AAA players that we're hoping to call up. Well actually we've already called up already. Uh, he's had some time in the uh, majors now. This season, well, at least to start off this season, he's going to play down here in, uh, in Omaha uh, for our Storm Chasers here, uh, and that is Bubba Sterling. Now, Bubba Sterling has been a long-time uh, player for the Royals here in our organization here, and we're trying to find that push there. We're trying to see if we can get him. This will be the, hopefully, it'll be the year we can get him called up per as a permanent outfielder here. Um, and the reason why we didn't start him this year is out in the outfield because we just was not too happy about what we've seen during the um, offseason. Uh, well, actually, I should say the uh, spring training games there. He had a couple good hits and a couple good appearances there, but just not where we want him to be. Now, he's potentially a B overall. Uh, there you see his overall kind of slipped some, and there you see some of his numbers just from a year ago uh, playing for us up in the majors there and we're trying to see if we can bring him uh back up there uh, 6'4 205 pounds 23 years of age he's from the state of missouri there so uh, he's a local guy uh, and we want to try to keep his morale up as you see right now it's currently it, it happy but right now our morale for him is not so good we want to make sure he gets some good hitting here uh, so we're gonna see him what he can do here is uh, he's a decent hitter here he has a pretty he had a pretty good uh, minor league season um, going to last uh, from my, for the last two previous seasons there uh, so we had called him up uh, late last year towards the uh, playoff run there and then of course he was in the playoffs there for us didn't do too much uh, but we're trying to see uh, now with uh, the spring training there which spring training was okay wasn't the greatest. Uh, but there you see his numbers right now. He's hitting uh, at a buck 92 right now to start the season here. And of course, the team is having a rough go here in this first month of the season. But we're trying to hopefully uh, get him adjusted here. Maybe he'll start seeing some good pitches here in, in the uh, AAA. And then um, hopefully we'll get, ooh, we'll try to give him about a month here to play some games, get himself, I guess, uh, something underneath his belt here. And then. Uh, kind of look at his stats there and, and then decide if we're going to bring him up. Uh, as of course, right now in, in our center fielder position, we have JD Martinez that we just recently just picked up. Uh, if you've been watching the series here, uh, picked up in a trade there with uh, the Cardinals. So, John Lamb is going to be on the hill here today for the Storm Chaser. Eventually, we'll have a profile update and, uh, and an episode about him uh, here in the near future. But well, we're going to today, like I said, we're going to look at Bubba Starling. We're going to look at his, some of his at-bats here. Uh, so taking on the uh, Nashville Sound here in uh, this uh, in these uh, first two games or so. Um, I think it's a series here. But you see there's a stolen base there and uh, the runner there. That is, I believe, uh, no, that is not. I thought that was uh, uh, Dyson because we do have Dyson down here in the minors here just getting him some at bats here trying to get his uh hitter's eye going uh that's nunez there it steals a base but full count here for bubba sterling and well sterling strikes out on that one that is strikeout number one for him for the day go to fourth inning now here's tied one on there's nobody on board here nobody out and we'll see what bubba can do here with an 0-1 count and bubba well he'll hit this one there down the third base line can he outrun this one no he cannot as he is not the great, has the greatest speed there. But uh, like I said, he's a decent outfielder and he's a decent hitter for us. But so far here in this series, he's having a rough go here against the Nashville Sound. So we'll see him out here on defense here. We'll see what he can do here do defensively as he's playing center field here today. This one's going to get popped out there. He's going to have to jump, go back here as he, for whatever reason, just runs back. But he gets there on time and gets the catch there. Nice job there from Bubba Sterling. And he gets the final out of the inning. So nice job there. It's a tie, it's still tied up one at all. As now we we'll go to the bottom half of the six here. And well, Nashville start to come back as they have a two run lead on us. Bubba here, he's going to hit this one. Oh, he gets Rob Bear by the shortstop. Tough break there from Sterling. And he is at to go back to the dugout and grab some pine there. As we go to the eighth inning, 
Let's see it's tied up for all here. Bases are empty. And nobody out here. Sterling here is going to pop this one here high and deep out to right field. And that one, oh, gets dropped by the right fielder. And that is going to put Bubba Sterling on board there. Not for sure if they're going to get credit that a hit or not. But we'll take a look at this one here. And this one, yeah, flies over to right field there. And for whatever reason, right fielder is not going to good. Oh, he doesn't even close the glove there. So Bubba Sterling now here as he's on first. And we'll see a 3-1 count here for Brett now. He has a good hitter's count here. And Brett's going to hit this one out there to left field there. That one's going to soar. This one's going to go back, but it's going to stay in the ballpark there. And uh, Sterling will have to be uh, staying. He's going to be stranded there at first base. So it's tied four all here. Now we've got some extra innings now here. So the lucky fan getting some free baseball here today in his first game against Natural Sound. See it tied to 4-4 and a 2-2 count. And Bubba Sterling unable to do anything there as uh, Sandburn gets that one. And uh, gets him swinging here on this one. We'll take a look at the replay. And, ooh, yeah, nasty there as uh, Bubba Sterling goes uh, swinging a miss there. And then Nashville Sound will pick up the win here. They'll get a win there. 8-6 to six is the final score. And we'll see that uh, Bubba Sterling goes 0 for 5 in this one with two strikeouts here. So not a good night here to start off uh, game one of this series. And especially showing uh, what he can do here for us here. As he's just not a good night here. And he's uh, hoping this will be a night that he can forget now. As uh, Bruce Maxwell for the National Sound is your player of the game there. The center there. Who had a really good night there. Four for five there with a triple, two RBIs, and a run. So we go ahead and we move along here. Actually, that was uh, the game. Uh, yeah, that was game. Yeah, that was game uh, one. We go to game two. This isn't going to play in this game either. Uh, we, uh, well, actually, we go ahead and we say he's over. I believe he's over four uh, for that game. Uh, he strikes out twi twice in that one. And he's unable to really do anything. Take a look at the box scores there. As you see there, and yeah, not a good night uh, either. There as he goes 0 for 4 in this one. So, so far in these first two games, he's 0 for 9 uh, with uh, four strikeouts there in this one. And his uh, batting average now is down to a buck 42. So definitely a tough day uh, for uh, him. Uh, and of course, the Royals do, uh, or I should say, the uh, uh, Storm Chase do lose another game there as they lose this one 6 to 1. So we'll go to the final game of this three game series there against uh, Nashville Sound. And we'll see what we can do and hopefully turn things around here. Hopefully, uh, Bubba Castrilli can get some, uh, some at bats going here for him in the third game of the series. Of course, you don't, you know, third game of the series, you. Um, Especially in this case, the Royals want to try to avoid that sweep. Or I should say the Storm Chasers want to avoid that sweep. And they got a good guy here that can avoid that here. He's got Andrew Barber, who just recently we had a series on him uh, not too long ago, showing his uh, abilities, what he can do here for us for the future uh, for the ball club. And, uh, of course, uh, Bubba Sterling would like to be a part of that, too, uh, for the Major League Club. As we'll see here, 2-2, two -two, bottom of the first here, two outs, nobody on. And we'll see what Sterling can do here. As he pops this one there high and deep. That one's going to go over to the right field. And that is going to be an easy out there. That's going to retire him. Now we go to the fourth here. And we'll see with an 0-2 count. We'll see Sterling. Well, he ooh, that's going to be a swing and a miss. A drop third strike. And he's going to be safely being put at first on that one. So he does strike out. But he will get on board there. Way of the drop third strike. And he'll be placed at first base. Of course, thinking about going to second, but decides not to. As we'll see here, next batter here, 2-2 two -two count. This one's going to be hit off the pitcher. Sterling's going to be safe at second, but the runner at first is going to be called out there. Nice hustle there for him. But we do see an injury there. And it looks like the pitcher, ooh, ouch. Uh, he's clutching his rib cage, And he's winded a bit there. So he's going to be taken out of the ball game here. And uh, of course, uh, not what you want to see there. You never uh, want to see a, you know anyone really leave the game because of an injury. 
Uh, but so Daniel Rodriguez will come out here for the National Sound and try to see if he can uh, finish off this inning now and uh, try to uh, keep his team um, in in this ball game here. So see uh, Rodriguez numbers there. He's taking on Hunter Dozier next at bat here. As Dozier's already walked already in this one. And we'll see here with a runner on second here. Dozier here hits this one over there. Oh, Dozier hits that one to the shortstop, and he makes a play there. And the runner, of course, Bubba Sterling will go ahead and advance a third on that, uh, just that rocket shot there that, that, that I was surprised the shortstop got a hold of that one from Hunter Dozier. So Gerard Dyson now here. Of course, like I said, he's down from the, mi or from the majors down to the minors here for just a, a brief time. Uh, playing some baseball here. He's actually been doing pretty well here. Look at his numbers uh, going in this series here. And so great that he gets a draw as a walk there. So he is going to be put on to first. So now runners at first and third. And we'll see what uh, Brett here can do here as he has a 1-2 count with runners on the corners. Two outs. Again, the uh, uh, Storm Chasers do something here. And nope, that is going to be... Uh, another ball, so it's gonna be low as Brett here gets now a 2 2 count here. We'll see what Brett can do and try to drive in this first run here. As this one goes up the middle there, and that is gonna be an easy play there for the natural sound to get the out and in the ball or in the inning there. As there's no it's uh, no score here after we go to the four innings here. As now we go to the sixth inning here, we'll see now it's a two nothing ball game. Omaha down. As oh nice hit there from Bubba Sterling, as Sterling hits that one there, that's going to be a good enough for a double. A run will come in the score here, and the Storm Chasers now are on the board. So nice job there from Sterling, as he gets an RBI there for his effort. As we'll see there, this one is going to really help the Storm Chasers out now. We have a runners on scoring position here. And there you see Sam Burn, which we've seen back in game one, who uh, did a number on uh, on Sterling. Uh, and then we'll see them hopefully matched up here later on. Now, uh, with Sterling now at second here, we'll see a pop up there to third or to the right field here. Sterling's going to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and tag up. Sterling's going to go ahead and tag up. He does their slides, and he is safe. So nice job there. And uh, not a bad arm there from the right fielder there, but unfortunately does not get the throw there out at third. So now Hunter Dozier up to bat here. He's walked in the second. He's 0-1 today. And he strikes out there on this one. So not a good series here for Hunter Dozier as he has just not been swinging the bat very well here, especially uh, in these last two games as he uh, just takes a whiff there. And they'll have now two outs here for the Storm Chasers here. We'll run our course at third of the uh, Sterling. And there you see a drop third strike. And this is going to be a quick two to three put out. And that'll be the it for the inning. So Hunter Dozier, or I should say uh, uh, Bubba Sterling, gets the one run that comes across the plate there and tie, or trailing by one. Now they're tied by two. Or tied to now all here in the seventh inning here. And we'll see a swing and a miss there from Hunter or from um, from Bubba Sterling, I should say. As Rogers does a great job of getting them out of the inning there. And the Storm Chasers trying to fight back here in this one. But Sterling just goes for it to uh, try to be the hero here in this one. We'll go to the bottom of the ninth here. Runners at first and second here with one out. And Bubba Sterling just stepped up and he is going to be a hero on this one and he hits a 3-1 shot there that will help to end the ball game as hunter dozier gets the game winning walk off home run and the storm chasers avoid the sweep here today as they win this one six to four nice job there stepping up Do or, uh, sterling as he steps up and gets the walk off home run and they will avoid the sweep so nice play nice hit there good job of ringing the baseball cut that one come off the the out of the glove of the pitcher here take a look there right where he wanted it launches that ball right into orbit there as soon as that ball came off you just hadn't heard that sound when you hear that sound come off the bat you know you got all of it got all all p just the whole piece of the ball and you take that one right out of the ballpark there nice job 
as the Storm Chasers get a nice victory here off the bat of uh, Bubba Sterling. So nice job there from Bubba Sterling. And of course, he is going to be talked to by the uh, local media there about the game there as he wins this one. Helps his team out two for five in the ball game here today. His second home run of the season. Yeah, he has a double and four RBIs and a run scored in this one. And a nice job is he is your player of the game there. Congrats there to Bubba Sterling. Hopefully this will now get this uh, his bat rolling here. Keep things going, and you know with you know he's one of the not necessarily the power hitters for the Omaha Storm Chasers uh, for this year. But he's definitely one of the important bats that we have that uh, we have to, um, you know, uh, worry about in the lineup. So they go ahead and win this one uh, with a final score of 6-4 to four at, at this matchup. Now, uh, we'll see here coming up the next uh, game here. It's going to be, it looks like it's going to be against the... Um, the uh, Memphis Cardinals here. Cardinals right now four and eight there for the season. We're seven to five uh, going into this series into the four game series. So we'll kind of uh, just uh, in this series kind of just uh, pick and choose some of the games here. We'll uh, follow Sterling in. Uh, but this is game one of that series here. As we'll take a look here and see what he can do here. There you see Sterling two home runs, eight RBIs for the season. We'll see his first at bat here in game one of this series. 2 1 count here. The bases are empty with two out. Sterling here hits his one there. He tried to get past the infield barrier, but the third baseman makes a nice play. And Sterling is retired there on the at bat. So nothing going there in this one as we go to now the third inning. And we'll see Sterling here. Gets this, this time he gets this one past the third baseman there. Third baseman makes a nice attempt to get that one, but he does not get there. And he does knock in an RBI. So one run does come across, and it ties it down one all. Bubba Sterling now off of first base here with a 2-2 count. Sterling looking to see if his teammate can bring him around. But nope, that is going to be a strikeout. As Dozier, again, really struggling here. And this uh, and now, now starting this new series here. His last at-bats here have not been too good. As now it goes to a 3-1 count. Uh, for the next batter here is we'll see this one skied out there to left center field there That's one's gonna drop down there runs gonna come around the score Sterling's gonna go from first to third there and uh, It's a nice double there For I believe that is Dyson there. So nice job as Dyson gets now in score position now two to one for the Storm Chasers as we'll see another at bat here for the next one and that one well It's gonna strand two runners there but the Storm Chasers are able to bring home two runs here this one as they lead us now 2-1. to one. Now we'll go to the fourth inning here. Bases are loaded here for Hunter Dozier. Of course, we just seen what he did just a night ago in that series with Nashville Sound. Can he do it again? No. He tries to step up to the big plate here with bases loaded. But Jones strikes him out there and uh, takes him down there here in the top of the fourth. So now... 2-1 here after we go now to the bottom half of the fourth. We'll see what the Cardinals can do here. And we'll see Roth up to bat. And, of course, we'll see Sterling here. He'll be playing center field here today. As we'll see, bases are loaded here. Two out. Looking to see if they can make a play here. And uh, we'll see this one going high and deep here. And Sterling going to get underneath this ball here. Can he get the out? And he does. And that is going to end the inning. So, nice job there. As the uh, Storm Chasers are now able to get out of this one. As we'll take a look there. 2 1 lead. Now, go to the next uh, uh, bat here for uh, Sterling. As he'll ground this one to the second baseman there. Easy routine play there. As they lead this one by five here. As, of course, Sterling trying to get his average up some. As we'll go to the seventh inning here now. And we'll see with one on, two out. Sterling here in the top of the seventh here trying to get something going here. Oh one count. Runner will go ahead and take off. Sterling here is going to try to run that run this one, but nope. Not going to be the case there as they make the routine play. And Omaha leads this one by four here after seven. So we'll see here that Omaha will go ahead and win this one. And they'll pick up, they'll get that victory there, that four run lead. Uh, the final score of 
uh, five to one. So nice job there for Sterling and for the Omaha Swarm Chasers. But unfortunately, Sterling, not a good day there for him. He goes one for five with an RBI and a strikeout there. So a tough day for him. Jason Adams, the pitcher there, is your player of the game. Take a look at the box score there. And you guys can check those out there and see who did what for the day. But for the most part here, uh, just not a great day for Sterling here. As uh, these last couple of games have been kind of tough one, with the exception of, that, of course, that home run. It's been the only bright side so far in this episode. And uh, I, talking to some of the, co the some of the st uh, scouts like that and, uh, and within the organization, you know, they're pretty impressed with what he did there in the game three of the series. But as a collective whole, uh, right now, they're just not really convinced of bringing him up here. So we'll see what he can do here and now in the next one here as we'll see here a 2-2 count here at the top of the first and he, oof, he takes another big whiff on that one there right in the top high in the zone there had to go after that one but it does not connect go to the top of the third we'll see with one on here and the runner is going to go and run here and he's going to get taken down in the pitch out there as the lead runners now raced off the board there and we'll see, yeah, yeah, that was a good pitch out here. They knew, they timed that very well, and they get the runner out. So now with nobody on board here and two out, two, two count here for Sterling. Sterling here swings and misses there. That's his second strikeout of the day here, and that is going to be it for the inning. So it's tied 1-1 one, one here after the top third is done. Now go to the top of the sixth. See here, there's a nice swing there. That's going to be a nice hit there, but it's going to be caught there by the second baseman there in shallow center field. Nice play. And then we'll end the day there, or end the at bat there for Sterling. Now, over three here, he's lined out back in the six. We'll see what Sterling can do here. Will he get the uh, golden sombrero here today? As he's 0 for 2. And we'll see if he'll get the swing and a miss there. That's his third strikeout here in the game. He's now 0 for 4 here in this game. He is not looking like, um, not looking like this. The, what we seen him just two games ago, hitting that grunt, hitting that three-run shot there to win the game. Uh, the cars, the Redbirds here had a number here, and the Redbirds will pick up the victory as the Cardinals. Win this one uh, here today uh, with a final score of two to one. So nice job there as they ever get the victory. Take a look at your box score here for the Storm Chasers. And just a, not a good day there for the Storm Chasers at all from one through nine in this one as they only had four hits for the ball club there. Those uh, three of those four hits came from the bottom of third of the lineup so struggling on the pl at the plate here and not to mention you take a look at john lamb's era right there he is struggling at the, at the heel so we'll see what we can do here in the third game here of this four game series with the Memphis redbirds this will see the top of the first here for sterling sterling's gonna hit this one he's gonna find a gapper out there so that's a good way to start off here get that average up and he's gonna go for two as he gets a nice stand-up double there, and he's in scoring position. So nice play there from him as he is trying to see what his ball club can do with two outs now. Full count here for the uh, next batter here coming up, and we'll see a swing and a miss there. No one can bring him home, and of course Sterling's going to be stranded now at the second. So tough break there, no score there. As we'll see here, still no score here in the fourth as... We'll see Sterling up again here, 0 for 1. And Sterling's going to again find another gapper out there at the right center field. That one's going to bounce off the wall there. He's got a good enough for a double here. And he says, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pull for a th triple. Gets in there and gets the triple. Nice hustle there from Sterling. And he's got himself in scoring position. So Sterling looking really sharp here. And the first two at bats, he got a double off the first one out in the same area, and then turns around, and gets a triple, really puts himself in gear, and getting scoring position. So nobody's out. One on here, oh, one two count here. Should be an easy at bat here 
for the hitter here to knock into a run here as that one's going to hit out the shallow right field here and well Sterling was thinking about going in there but Sterling realized he is not quick enough so he stays at first so that actually no it was not an out there the runner is safe as we'll see here that was going to be a ground ball here Sterling will come in for a hit and two runners will be on board now here at first and third so nice job there from Dyson getting the run in there and getting the first uh, getting a fellow uh, teammate in there on the base hit as he is uh, doing a pretty good job here in uh, this uh, uh, not in this series but in this game here today is go see now Sterling two for two he's tripled and doubled already here in this one just needs a single and a home run to complete the cycle We'll see what he does here with two out and with one on. We'll see a 1-1 one, one count here from him. And we'll see that one's going to be hit right to the first baseman. Easy play. And Omaha still leads it here by one. So now we'll go to the seventh inning. We'll see what Sher uh, Sterling can do here with two on, two out. And that is going to be a walk. So Sterling's going to be placed at first base. As he just needs a bit, really needed a base hit to bring in home a run. He could probably bring in two runs with a base hit. So now Gerard Dyson now is going to have to do it. And he's got three hits here today, so far today, all of them being singles. We'll see if he can get and try to knock one through the infield here and try to bring home a run. So it's now four to three here. We'll see uh, Sterling's here now at for third base here. That one's going to rattle around. That's going to bring home a run. Next runner should be coming around here, and no, they're going to hold the runner up at third. So we got runners at second and third. As now we'll see Sterling here coming up here to bat here in the ninth. And we'll see it's a 5-4 to four ball game here. Bases are empty. Two out. Sterling looking for a pitch here. 0-1. This one gets past the infield there. That is going to be a base hit. And Sterling is on board here. So Sterling trying to keep this inning alive here for his fellow teammates. We'll see the next at bat there. Nope, not going to keep that alive there. And the Memphis uh, ball club here, the Redbirds, will pick up the victory here. And they'll win this one 5-4. to four. So a tough game here for them, uh, for the Storm Chasers here. But, hey, all things here, uh, you know, even though we you know, came up short of the win, we definitely have to be proud of Sterling. As he goes three for four in this ball game, a double, a triple, two runs were scored from him, and also he drew a walk for this one. So, not a bad, you know, not a bad thing. Could it would have been better if he, you know, the team and him got a win. But hey, you got to take what you can get there. So it helps him. See, you know, of course he has his own goals he has to work on, and of course trying to get better in the lineup there. But there you take a look at the team statistics there. You see our numbers there. And we're not so good there. We're in the bottom half. And a lot of the statistics there in the uh, minor leagues there. So we'll take a look here and see what we can do here in the fourth and final game of this uh, series here against the Memphis Redbirds. As we'll see Sher Sterling there, two home runs on our RBIs. We'll see what he can do here in his first at-bat. As the bases are empty here, two out, and we'll see what he gets her for a pitch here. That one's gonna be grounded there to the short uh, third baseman there. Routine play, no problem there. That one's a little thrown a little high there from the third baseman, but does get the out. We'll see now one on here, two out here at the top of the third. 0-2 count here for Sterling. Sterling, eh, don't know why he went after that one for, but he does, and he will miss. Go to the fifth inning here. We'll see now runners at first and th uh, first and second with two outs. And Sterling, for again, for whatever reason, this time he swings too early and up too high there. And he is trying too hard there for his ball club here to try to get uh, to uh, extend his lead. Go now, see Sterling now over three now here in this ball game. As we see him struck out just there not too long ago. And he is trying to see what he can do here as he swings and misses on that one. As now it's 0-2. So the next uh, pitch here, he's trying to see what they can do. It's tied one on here. and There's nobody on and nobody out. And again, he swings again. He strikes out for the third time 
in this ball game. So can he get another at bat here before this wraps up here to try to redeem himself as it's tied one all here. Go to the ninth inning here. We'll see Kevin Nolan. He's up to bat here for the Memphis Redbirds here. You have two out. And we'll see here. Sterling, they have a two-run lead now. Sterling here has to track this one down here. Can they get the out? But the second baseman, Nunez, will go ahead and get the catch. And that will be the ball game as the Storm Chasers fight back in this one. And uh, they do a good job there getting the two-run lead. Winning this one 3-1 to one is your final score. And as we'll see them celebrating here in this one. So they avoid the, they end up getting the, uh, uh, breaking the series in half there. The, they split the series there, two games apiece against the Memphis Redbirds. They avoid the sweep there against the uh, Nashville Sound. And, well, the question is now what can they do here to get themselves going? As you see there in the numbers there in box score, not great numbers there, but they do somehow, some way get the victory. As they'll take, it looks like they're going to be taking on the National Sound once again, this time on the road. And that is it for our look at Bubba Sterling here. Not a good uh, look at him, these uh, first, these uh, just these two series here. Of course, we'd like to have a little more body of work there looking at him. And we'll uh, keep tabs on him throughout the rest of the month here. And of course, we'll get those emails telling us who we should bring up, who we should uh, bring down. But uh, I think right now, for the time being, at least for this remainder of this month, going into a little bit of the next month, we'll keep him down here in the minor leagues, and we'll see if things will turn around for him uh, here as we go to the second month of the season. So that is it for this episode of the uh, Kansas City Royals Royal Court Insider looking at the AAA player, Bubba Sterling. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, if you want to see another um, video of, uh, of another Royals player, let me know. We'll break it down and show you their uh, what they can do here in the what they're doing in the minor leagues. Um, but like I said, right now, you know, uh, we're nine and seven to start off the season. There, uh, I think the next, I think at least the next one I got uh, lined up for is going to be a pitcher. I believe it is uh, Adams. I think. Uh, I think he's the next guy we're going to be looking at here. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go here coming up here. And I think it'll be that, um, I think there's at least two more of these coming up in the next month here. Uh, as we're trying to get this series, uh, this franchise rolling along here a little more quickly here. Um, but stay tuned for the next Royals game coming up here. Uh, I believe that video should be coming up here in the next day or two here on the channel. Uh, so, uh, sit back and get ready for those coming up. We'll have a lot more of those. Get back on the minor league and also too we'll have a couple minor league games here coming up here on the channel that you guys can check out with especially with this new uh, thing here on youtube the um premiere thing uh, they have on youtube now uh, we can show more uh, those kind of games where there's no commentary just straight up raw gameplay of uh, the Royals franchise and also we'll do it with the cardinals franchise um here uh, with our cardinals uh, franchise series that we have here on the channel too so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more Kansas City Royals franchise here on the channel. If you guys uh, enjoyed today's video, hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And check out us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord here on ESGN. As always, keep yourselves each other healthy. And I will see you guys next time.